watching God's Word for You Today program, an online Bible teaching ministry of Maranatha Baptist Church, Villamonte, Bacolod City, Philippines. This program is designed to make the time-tested, solid Word of God relevant to your life's need today. God's Word for You Today is found in... Then the same day at evening, being the first day of the week, when the doors were shut, where the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews, came Jesus and stood in the midst and saith unto them, Peace be unto you. Last week, we celebrated the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, the situation when the Lord Jesus Christ was uh, resurrected was almost the same with our situation today. The disciples were hiding because of the fear of the Jews. Uh, it was uh, favorable for the Jews to, to kill Jesus. Therefore, uh, the next to be killed will, will, will be his disciples. And it pleased the Jews and also the Romans. Therefore, they continued uh, seeking, searching for all the disciples so that all of them will be killed. The disciples were hiding. They gathered together in the room there in Galilee, uh, closing the door, closing the room so that no Jews, no authorities could uh, saw them while they were talking about their Savior. And so they felt the fear due to conflicts, confusion, and chaos. Today, we are in that same kind of situation. We are in conflict. We are in chaos. We are in confusion. Why? Because of the pandemic. People are disturbed. People are afraid. We all are uh, affected due to this kind of disease, due to this kind of national or international world problem, the COVID-19 pandemic. Here in the text we read, we see here the, me the message, the meaning, and the might of the resurrection that would cause our hearts to become peaceful. Jesus said in the last phrase, peace be unto you. Meaning if we know the meaning, if we know the message, if we know the might of the resurrection, here we find peace. Therefore, it is our aspiration in our situation today to become peaceful. So we should look first what would be the message of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, the message of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ was proclamation of God's power. There we saw an angel, an angel who opened the very stone that covered the sepulcher. There we saw angel's appearance lighting, a very, very bright light on the appearance of an angel. And it and that, uh, speaks about the glory of the Lord, the glory. And of course, it was said that the angel wore, or wore the, a white linen and it, is, it was white as snow. Therefore, it symbolizes holiness. This power of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ was, of course, the message of his resurrection. To proclaim the power of God. The resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ proclaimed his power. God has power to resurrect the Lord Jesus Christ. It was a supernatural event. That is the message. And what was the meaning? The meaning of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. The meaning was God's restoration of human dignity and destiny. We saw here that uh, the believers were became faithful. They believed when Jesus said to Mary Magdalene, go to my brethren and tell them that I will go to Galilee and we will, we will meet together. I will, they will see me there. And so Mary tell or told the disciples that Jesus Christ will be coming over them. And so they believe. Therefore, they gathered together. And so their dignity once again restored because of the belief that Jesus was resurrected. The last of the apostles that believed the 
the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ was Thomas. Thomas the doubter or Thomas Didymus. Well, tradition says after Thomas believed the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ because Thomas really saw the resurrection, the resurrected Lord. Thomas went to India and then preached there. He was the first missionary. So Thomas' faith restored and his dignity as a preacher, as an evangelist, as an apostle was restored. And of course, all of the apostles went forth and preached the gospel, preached the Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ because they saw now that their dignity and destiny was restored because Jesus, whom, or Jesus, who resurrected from the dead, fulfilled his promises. And so they believed the promises of the Lord. They have now the reason to preach, to live for the Lord Jesus Christ, because the word of the Lord can be trusted, can be confidently believed. Believe. That's what the restoration of the dignity and the destiny of man the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's the meaning. What, it, what was the might, the power of the resurrection? The power would be the human experiences. The human experiences. Well, the power of the Lord Jesus Christ's resurrection was not corrupt. power of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ broke all the corruption, broke all the rituals, broke all the formality of the church because there on the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ was the beginning of the church, the beginning of human experiences where the Holy Spirit came and then they received the power. They received the power that can, that can light, that can enlighten the darkness or the dark mind of the unbeliever. Therefore, the power, the might of the resurrection was manifested in the human experiences. Well, we become new. We become a new person. We become changed person because of the resurrection of the Lord. Without the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ, the gospel was not completed. Therefore, we still will be in our sin and our faith would be in vain. Our church gathering would be in vain. We are like people who are not, uh, who are not uh, secured, who are not assured of their destiny and of their eternal life. And so because of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ, our human experiences show that we experienced the power of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. Today, fear in COVID-19 pandemic is going to overtake us. Yet, let us remember this. Let us remember this. God has won. God is winning. God will win because of the resurrection. So, peace be unto you, the Lord Jesus Christ said. Because the resurrection of the Lord required us to become peaceful. We know now that we are living, we are serving, we are worshiping and praising the living Lord, the living Savior. Therefore, let us not fear the pandemic situation, the COVID-19. But rather, let us have faith in that powerful Savior, the power of His resurrection. May we have that peace that comes from our Lord due to His resurrection. Peace be unto us all. This is God's word for you today.